Windows Experience, your way in re-experiencing the best of the digital age. Well, that's at least what it says on the archive.org article. So basically, this is Windows 10, but with the Windows XP look and feel. Pretty much a lot of this stuff looks like XP. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at this custom ISO image for Windows 10. How much does it look like Windows XP? Stay tuned to find out. Yeah, we're just going to do our usual. We're just going to select our ISO image. We are going to... Well, I guess we'll just name this Windows 10 X. I get, why not? I just find this so weird how in VMware, it always defaults number of actual processors to two. And yet the amount of cores is only set to like one. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe, I mean, maybe there's a reason for it. I'm not, I mean, actually, I just noticed you can actually set like two processors and eight cores. So, eh, who knows? You know, I guess we'll do two processors and six cores. Why not? Uh, RAM wise, yeah, we'll do eight gigs. Why not? Considering this is based off of Windows XP or what it's supposed to look like Windows XP. I may, I may as well. <laughs> yes, definitely NVMe for that. Well, this works. We're going to hit a key. We're going to boot from the CD here. All right. So, so far this looks still like Windows 10. It doesn't look that much different. Oh, uh, language to install. All right. So, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to leave the settings as is because I'm not, I'm not going to keep this anyway. So it's like, what, what? It's like, it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, no, as you can see, it still looks pretty much the same so far. Oh, this is interesting. I've actually never seen this before. Your use of the software. What? I've actually never seen this before. This is interesting. Maybe they added that. I'm not sure if that was made from like an update, which I doubt. But I guess that came with the customized. I have, I, I don't know. <laughs> Getting the files ready and it's going pretty quick still so oh man i'm tired all right so yeah it looks like it that's that's all done so let's get yeah, let's just see wait what wait what was that what was that <laughs> look at the, the picture oh my god look at this that works here you want it yeah no i don't i don't care <laughs> wow look at this oh, i spit on myself but yeah, no, look at this. This actually looks really... Holy shit, dude. Oh. <laughs> wow, this really does look just like Windows XP. Holy shit. Can we actually... Oh my god. Oh, I thought it, this was literally gonna look like... No, so look, you got the Windows XP... I, yeah, the Windows XP Pro X64. What? They even they even copied like some of the details. I, wow, that is crazy. <laughs> so I know you could easily fool somebody into thinking this is XP, <laughs> and this is crazy. You got you got an old version of WordPad here. Let's see. Oh my God, I'm. I'm actually shocked this is running in Windows 10 at all. I'm actually pretty shocked. Please read. I will ignore you if you point out any of these issues that are not listed out. Yeah, yeah, read, read the effing manual. That's basically what he's kind of trying to say. Which, which makes sense because, you know, some people might just ignore it and just think, oh, I'm just going to complain to, to the developer saying this is a bug even though it's known. It, that's what happened with, like, I think it was, what was the emulator? Aether SX2, I think? The developer was like, you know what? I'm done. It's just because people weren't reading the fucking, like the readmes, or they weren't looking at, you know, the Discord. Look at this. What about the wallpaper? Actually, what about the wallpapers? Oh my God, they even copied this. Oh shit, I think it crashed. Oh yeah, appearance I think crashes. Yeah, appearance crashes, which makes sense because you know, this is Windows, technically this is Windows 10. Actually, before we do anything else, I may as well install the VMware tools. Oh my God, yeah, I know my grandparents, they love Windows XP. Maybe I should give them this. <laughs> cause, it's, Cause it's Windows 10, but it's, it looks just like XP. I'm actually kind of scared to see, like, going above. What if we went to, like, 1080p? Will anything happen at all? Uh, you know what? No, I'm I'm good with this. I, I'm, I'm afraid to mess something up. As you can see from our start menu here, we got Internet Explorer. If this is Internet Explorer 6, I'm gonna fucking... Oh, it's Firefox. <laughs> That's actually kind of clever. That's actually pretty freaking clever. That is, oh my, that is nuts. All right, what about Outlook, Outlook Express? 
What do we got? Oh, that's it. Well, so this is actually Outlook Express 6. Again, I'm shocked this runs on Windows 10 at all. That even uses the old MSN logo. Oh my God. Welcome, yeah, welcome to Outlook Express. Wow. What about Windows Media Player? Oh my God, dude. Yeah, this is an older version of Media Player. Let's see what version this is. <laughs> Wow, this is, this is incredible. Like, this is honestly, like, this is really good. Windows Messenger. Oh, yeah, there you go. You got your Messenger. <laughs> it's literally from 2001. This is literally the OEM version of it. That is, I'm sorry if I'm stuttering a lot here. I'm just blown away by this so far. Windows Movie Maker. Wow. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of clever though. I think that's the reason why these still work because because I'm guessing the guy who made this ripped all the applications from Windows XP 64-bit edition. So it, it obviously should work no problem on Windows 10. Oh my God, we got tour Windows XP, baby. Look at this. Oh my God, and it freaking works. <laughs> unbelievable it actually i mean i understand this is just like an swf file being played but i, I just i can't get over this and i gotta see <laughs> wow but yeah no that yeah windows tour actually works i am <laughs> nuts msn oh my god and this is and this is the old MSN too. All right, let's see what we got in terms of, oh wait, Internet Explorer 64 bit and 32 bit? What is this? What's the difference between? <laughs> Look at the, what is it with these graphics? They're all messed up. All right, so, all right, so what do we got for accessories? So we got, yeah, of course, your neighbor. Oh, we gotta see the narrator. We have to listen to Microsoft Sam talk his butt off. Does it work? Okay, I guess it doesn't work. <laughs> God damn it. I was actually kind of hoping that would work, but eh, whatever. Yeah, we got our on-screen keyboard, magnify, yeah, and these look all like Windows XP. Yeah, you even got the Windows XP sound recorder. <laughs> this is crazy. Windows Explorer. Yeah, this is just that. That's just Explorer system information. Okay. What about system and copyright 2000? <laughs> yeah, this is literally the old version of system info. Oh my god. Ooh, we gotta look at the games. Ooh, free sell. Yeah, we got it. We got our free sell. I suck at these card games, so I don't know exactly how to play them. At least most of them. Yes, I want to resign, please. Arts. What is your name? Asla I I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Ooh, we got Minesweeper. Of course, you gotta have your Minesweeper. It's Windows XP. Oh crap. God damn it. Of course. One one. Oh come on. Oh oh oh. Okay 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 okay. Uh. One. Let's not that. Not that. Not that. Oh my God. Don't do this to me. Oh, 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 okay, 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 we're, we're getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere, okay, okay, oh, we, are we almost, are we actually, am I actually going to win this? Fuck, damn it, motherfucker, <laughs> damn it, I was actually so close, <gasps> oh, baby, I'm almost there, I am almost freaking there, okay, so, two, so, definitely that and that, and then two would be that and that, and three would be that, <sighs> That and that? Mm -hmm. I was I was actually really freaking close to winning Minesweeper. <laughs> I actually almost had it. Ooh, okay, definitely not these. Definitely not these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that's Minesweeper for you. Yeah, you can tell I, I have a lot of fun with that game, but probably not as fun as 3D Pinball. Again, I am just shocked that games like this work at all. I mean, I mean, as you can see graphically, it's not perfect like it has like all sorts of issues but i mean for the most part it runs you know i could still play this oh come on yeah, this was also actually another game i used to play a ton too when i was a kid yeah it kind of sucks microsoft doesn't include games like this anymore but eh, it is what it is i guess <laughs> That's, I, was, I just i just put in another one. Oh, and i got another one and another one and another one and yeah, this game is just so addicting even over 20 years later, this game is just as addicting. Actually, probably more than 20 years. I think this was around since, what was it, like 90s? I can't remember. It was like the late 90s. This game actually came out. Okay, wormhole after wor <laughs> wormhole after wormhole. Oh my god, I think I just broke the game. Okay, I just, I just broke the game, I think. <laughs>
Oh wait, oh crap, crap, crap. No, wait, never mind, I didn't. Dang it. I thought I, I thought that was gonna be like an, an infinite loop. <laughs> <laughs> that would have that would have been funny. I'd be like, hey guys, look, I just found a good exploit for this game. You can you can score millions of points. Don't fall in. Okay. Uh, yeah, what sucks about it falling into there though is that now I can't eat. I can't even fall into that again or else I lose the ball. So yeah, it's actually good to avoid like these areas as much as possible. Like I didn't do right there. But, but yeah, no, that's that's 3D Space Cadet Pinball. Yeah, nothing really much to say other than, you know, it's it's just a shit ton of fun. Uh, solitaire, of course, it's solitaire. You know, it's nothing really to say. It's just it's solitaire. And then, of course, you got your spider solitaire, which I got to see if it'll do the animation. Let's see. Yeah, I love that. I love that animation. I love that animation for some reason. It's just, it's just so satisfying. It's just, it's just amazing. All right, so you know what? Let's actually go on the internet and uh, graph. Yeah, now it's all screwed up. I just can't believe the amount of effort they put into making this look as much like Windows XP as possible. Holy cow. Yeah, so we're in Google now, so we can search up macaroni and cheese, because why not? There we go. Got our mac and cheese. <laughs> let's put this in full screen. Uh, all right, so yeah, let's, let's go to YouTube, of course. Again, I don't know why it's all... Graphically, it's just all screwing up now. But yeah, let's yeah, let's look at my channel. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see, there's my there's my recent SpongeBob video. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, so the ads are playing. Nice, good. It's good to know. But yeah, no, as you can see, you know, it plays pretty much like you'd expect. It plays just as well as pretty much <laughs> a usual Windows 10. Of course, we gotta we gotta do Nathan's Toasty Tech because hey, I'm I'm a nerd, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, runs no problem whatsoever. Gooey's quick screen grabs of Windows 11. Yuck. <laughs> that is actually pretty well. That actually is kind of perfect. Yeah, I mean, like, Microsoft, look at this. What is this? It's nasty. No wonder I moved to freaking Linux. They just have no idea what they're doing. I will stand by what I'm about to say here. Windows 7, I think, was probably the best looking Microsoft Windows version I've ever used. Best looking. I'm not sure if I'd say the best used. Cause I mean, it did have some problems down the line, but if we're just talking about looks and nothing else. Windows 7 pretty much had it in the bag. At least I think. Oh, Vista wasn't far behind either, but I think Windows 7 just- Windows 7, I think, was just Vista, but better. Then after 8.1, it just went to shit. So, just for the lulz, let's- Let's look at the wi the Wikipedia Windows XP article. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I almost want to try and recreate this picture here. This. Hang on. Will this look the same? Okay. I mean, it's not going to look exactly the same, but we're just going to eject that. We're going to move that there. The recycling bin is down there. We're just going to... I guess I guess we can just... Hang on. We'll just move... I get... Yeah, we'll just move these down here for now, if I can. There we go. All right, so... Yeah, we're just gonna put this there, put it in the center, and then we're gonna minimize that, put that down there, and then there. Perfect. <laughs> I just... I just can't believe the amount of effort they put into this custom ISO, because... Holy crap. Does it have the sample? <gasps> it's got the freaking sample pic... No way. Oh my god. It literally has sample pictures. <laughs> that is amazing. I don't want to open this with paint. I want to open this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. See, it even uses the old picture and fax viewer. Yeah, no, I remember I used this wallpaper here, the sunset. This was like my main wallpaper back in the day. <laughs> it was so good. But Winter, Winter Hills wasn't far behind for me either. So what about music? I want to see if there's like any sample music. Got the Windows 10 sound effects. I received files. What's this? And why is it lagging like crazy? Why is this lagging? Actually, I want to take a look at Movie Maker one more time. Just, just cause why not? Yeah, see guys, this is what we had before, like, Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas. I mean, technically now it's Magic's Vegas, but still Sony Vegas. You know, we had, like, if you wanted to create, like, a YouTube poop, for example, you used this. It was, oh, it was so good. Let's see what I can do in Movie Maker. Can we actually, like, what are the, what are the effects? Mirror horizontal. That's it? That's all you get? Really? <laughs> 
Wow. Hey, you literally have like almost no effects. Is there like a way to install like, new effects? Properties? No. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a way to install new effects. This is literally like all you had. That is. <laughs> That is, yeah, cause no, I remember I used this back in the day and there was even a time where I wanted to, like, it's so hard now using this video editor. You could barely even make clips 16 by nine without making like some sort of, of adjustment. Yeah, here we go. Like you actually had to come into the options here and you had to set it as 16 by nine. And even then the resolution was so bad. I think I remember too, like if you wanted to add like text, I'm trying to remember. How, did you, how do you add, oh, file explorer, go away, please. I don't, wait, let's do it on the selected clip. Uh balls oh my god this is so primitive dude yeah i mean yeah obviously it's probably not gonna show anything because i'm using a virtual machine but yeah no this was yeah even if you did this this still didn't look near as good as even like your entry level video editing software nowadays but yeah, i guess for 2006 this was kind of okay this was like the only like real accessible like free video editor at the time. So yeah, this was kind of your only choice. But yeah, guys, I mean, I think I think that's about it for Windows experience. It's Windows 10, but with a Windows XP look to it. And they did a really damn good job with this too. Like almost, literally almost everything looks like Windows XP, like almost down to a T. Like the start menu here, you know, the programs even. Like they even made like Internet Explorer. I mean, come on, you got to admit that's pretty freaking clever. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know, make sure you click the like button, click that subscribe button for more upcoming content. And until next time, guys, peace.